Hello Scorpio, welcome to a love reading. All right, Scorpio, let's jump into your reading. We're gonna be looking at who or what is coming towards you in love. As always, this is a general reading, Scorpio, so it will not resonate with every single Scorpio watching. Uh, take what resonates, leave the rest. If this does not resonate at all, then check out the playlist that I have for Scorpio. It'll be linked up in the cards, or you can click on my username here on YouTube and uh, on my homepage, I have all of the playlists listed, or you can click on the playlist tab. All right, Spirit, for Scorpio, who or what is coming towards Scorpio? Who or what is coming towards them? Love. Using the Crow Tarot. Okay, we got the Chariot Reverse, Cancer Energy. All of the decks that I'm using are linked down in the description box. For Scorpio. We have the Six of Wands. Interesting. What messages do you have for Scorpio Spirit? Messages for Scorpio. Nine of Swords reversed. Wow, this is... Actually, this is really a great message here. Success, recognition with the Six of Wands, no longer being held back by fear, anxiety, uh, sleepless nights, uh, overcoming. Um, the mental difficulty with the Nine of Swords reverse. This is seeing a way out of a situation, a light at the end of the tunnel. Even though it started off with the Chariot reverse, which is feeling stuck, not moving forward, not progressing, but it could also be, for me as a reader, I look at the chariot reverse also as a card for having to switch direction altogether because the path you're in, it's not leading anywhere. Bottom of the deck, I have the queen of swords, air energy there, Aquarius, Libra, and uh, Gemini. And the queen of swords, um, they're astute, they are direct, they have a tough exterior because they've been through a lot. Focus. I just got the message laser focus. Okay, so let's get some um, oracles out here to get some more clarity. Let's start with the romance angels spirit. Tell me more. For Scorpio, can you provide some clarity, please? For Scorpio. Tell me more. What is going on with Scorpio in love? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Any other insight for Scorpio? So something here regarding love is worth waiting for, Scorpio. And again, another message for divine timing, which you've gotten in recent readings both you and gemini um have gotten a lot of uh, messages regarding divine timing in your love readings recently tell me more for scorpio spark beautiful so this is kind of like um like lighting a match the initial oh wow look what's at the bottom of the deck stuck in the mud exactly this chariot reverse energy, that's what this is. I feel like being stuck in the mud has lit a fire within you. There's been a spark of interest, of imagination, creativity. Um, this is about beginning something new. I'm picturing the page of wands here. Okay. Let me get one more energy card. What's the energy surrounding Scorpio spirit? the energy surrounding Scorpio and then we'll jump into clarifying these energies. What's the energy surrounding Scorpio? What's the energy surrounding Scorpio? I'm also picking up um, attraction here like being uh, drawn like a moth to a flame. That's the energy. You, you've been either someone's drawn to you or you are drawn to someone. 
and just let this like spark within you this fire burden heart and then you have balancing act at the bottom of the deck so this is where this chariot reverse energy this nine of swords reverse energy i feel like there's a burden here that has existed um it could be obligations it could be being weighed down by baggage in a connection um tell me more about this burden heart it could be that you are having a lot going on right now and needing to let something go what can you tell me about this burden heart why burden heart spirit for scorpio why burden heart using my secret energy no, not secret energy stellar energy oracle deck why burden heart hidden motives Ooh, secrets deception avoidance and closed off at the bottom of the deck so what i'm picking up here this burden heart is possibly because you are holding something in there's something that's that's probably it's almost like it's secretly has bubbled i don't know why i'm getting this but this is the message that i'm getting guarded defensive resistant closed off energy that's similar to the uh, queen of swords i feel like there's there's kind of like a disconnect here um this this woman is blindfolded in this photo there's a mask here so it's almost like um there's something here like a big secret <laughs> that's what i'm getting like there's a big secret here what okay let's clarify because i cannot wait to dig into what's really happening here someone has kept a secret and it's regarding love or someone has suppressed something so deep let's get let's get into this let me clarify sir let me clarify these energies for scorpio please for scorpio yes high priestess there's a mystery a secret here something that possibly someone has held on to and hasn't expressed but let's see, let's see. Why is the chariot reverse? Why is the chariot reverse? For Scorpio. Now Scorpio, yes, we all fortune reverse. Scorpio, this could all be your energies, your person's energies, or a mix of both. So take it as it resonates, because this is who or what is coming towards you, but it can be flipped. The Wheel of Fortune reverses here with the Cherry Reverse. There's literally something that's come to a full stop. Something that hasn't been able to progress. This could have been, actually, let's get more cards. So uh, what I'm getting is this could be, I'm getting so many messages. One of the messages that I'm getting so far, we're going to see when I clarify more, is that this could be two people who had something that was maybe a lot of chemistry something very special that stopped and it's like it stopped and didn't mo move forward but someone's been waiting for it secretly let's see let's see if i'm right about that tell me about the chariot reverse spirit this is what i'm getting so far now i just started the reading so we will see how this develops i don't like how this deck is feeling Tell me about the chariot reverse, please. Okay, got two. Queen of Cups reverse and the lovers. Yes. Yes. This was a connection. You're probably dealing with a Gemini or someone with Gemini in their chart. Um, but I'm getting there was like disappointment here with the Queen of Cups reverse. Some sort of heartbreak or disappointment. At a, you know, regarding a union here. Let me see what's at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, the King of Cups reverse. Yep. King of Cups, Queen of Cups reverse. This is a pair that's not happy. <laughs> Heartbreak, disappointment. I have the hangman right behind this. So again, a feeling of no movement, no action, possibly even no communication. We'll see. But this closed off card at the bottom of the deck tells me that there's been 
resistance here in the form of like maybe there hasn't been like um, communication or resistance in reaching, uh, you know, um, a decision. You know, someone that's with the hangman is not really making a certain decision, not really making a move, taking action. Tell me about this six of wands. Can you tell me about this six of wands? The hangman again. Why is the six of wands here, spirit? <laughs> the knight of wands. So this is someone who... is clearly making a move with the Knight of Wands. Spark. There's been, there's motivation, desire, passion. A desire for success, for winning. Tell me more. This is, could be a, someone taking a risk, making a move. Complete opposite of the Chariot Reverse and the Hangman. Tell me about the Six of Wands. What is this? Mm. Can I get one more for this Nine of Cups reverse? I'm getting a story so far. Yes, I'm getting a story. Knight of Swords. Someone is not happy. Have the star at the bottom of the deck. Aquarius energy. Someone is stuck in the mud or feels stuck. Uh, is not progressing forward. Is not moving on. I don't know if they're not moving on from the past. If they feel stuck in the past, if they feel stuck in their current predicament or situation right now, um, someone is not happy. They have not gotten their wish granted. The wheel of fortune is reversed and that is causing someone to make a move. And this is like serious action here with the knight of swords and the knight of wands. And it's because I feel there's hope or faith or like something that they want oh there's a two of swords that's that closed off card they actually look kind of similar see that she's wearing a headband in both or like not a headband a, um something over her eyes yes page of cups reverse look there's a six of cups and look at what's behind that the high priestess and with the Page of Swords reverse, I'm getting like no communication, disappointment, and like a guarded energy here. Indecision, guarded energy. This is someone that I feel has been stuck in making a very important decision. But there's hope. They're, they have hope or faith or a wish, you know? What is this Knight of Wands and Knight of Swords? What do they want? What are they after? Oh my God, look at this. I feel like I should just cut the reading right here. <laughs> I'm not going to, but here's the 10 of wands reverse. That's that burden heart card that I was telling you about earlier that someone might be wanting to let go of a burden. And this is what they want. Happily ever after. Who doesn't want happily ever after? Domestic bliss, stability, happiness. This is what someone's after. Tell me about this Knight of Swords reverse. Someone's having to overcome a fear here. Maybe this is on uh, the process right now. With the, with someone's uh, letting go of their fear or their fear no longer haunts them or their guilt no longer haunts them. The Hierophant reverse, Taurus energy. Why is the Nine of Swords reverse? Why is the Nine of Swords reverse? Ah, there's the High Priestess. Why is the higher font reverse? Why is the higher font reverse? Ah. Hmm. <sighs> Tell me one more for this nine of swords reverse. The plot thickens, Scorpio. Tell me more about this nine of swords reverse, please. One more. <laughs> 
clarified by the nine of swords reverse and the bottom of the deck the eight of swords so this is the message that i'm getting oh my gosh scorpio what is going on someone okay this is gonna probably not make sense but i'm just gonna tell you what i'm seeing what i'm feeling okay scorpio this is someone that has overcome their fear but is still stuck and i think they're stuck in a situation because they wanted to do the right thing they could be in a marriage some of you are dealing with someone that could be in a marriage a long-term commitment they're trying to leave whatever this is they're trying to leave and they can't they're literally stuck there what's behind this yeah yeah they're literally stuck there i think there was a separation or is okay either this was a separation between you and this person is still stuck in the past but what i'm getting more now is that this person it needs to leave someone else. It doesn't have to be a romantic partner. It could be anybody because I'm, I'm not getting romance right away from this card. I know it's weird, but that's the message I'm getting. Uh, someone is stuck in a partnership of some sort. Um, they've been in it for a while and they're literally stuck, even though they want to walk away from that. So why the high priestess? Why all the secrecy? Why the high priestess spirit? Why is the high priestess here? Queen of Swords reverse. Why is that oh why the high priestess? <laughs> Breaking free will be a fight with this Queen of Swords reverse. I don't know who they are, but this is literally someone fighting to be free. Seven of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. There's challenges, obstacles to be free. Could even be financial here with the Five of Pentacles. Even though this person isn't happy, they're not happy. They want to make an offer somewhere else. This is a story. I don't know who this is that you're dealing with. Let's get some information on them. Spirit, tell me more about this person that Scorpio is dealing with. So fear is not the problem. It's this baggage. Tell me more about this person that Scorpio is in a connection with or dealing with or is coming towards them. Tell me more about this other person. Seven of Pentacles reverse. That's why we have the worth waiting for card. Seven of Pentacles for me is a card about time because it takes time to ready the soil, to plant the seeds, to water the seeds, to then wait for the harvest. And there's doubts, right? Is everything that I've done, is it going to pay off? Am I going to grow something? So the Seven of Wands is a card about waiting. Tell me more about this other person. Three of Swords. Ace of Cups reverse. This is someone that's not doing well emotionally. And there we have the Eight of Swords right after that. This person's not happy where they're stuck. And I feel like this has been building up over time. This unhappiness, this discontent, this dissatisfaction. There's been pain and difficulty. Con verbal conflict for some of you. Um, this person is dealing with verbal conflict. Like fights, dramas. What is the energy surrounding this person? What is the energy surrounding this person? What is the energy? Closed off. So that card didn't want to come out. Bottom of the deck, here's another card about time. Changes, transition time. Time changes everything, exactly. I feel like this person has just become more closed off over time, wherever they're at. 
um, they're very guarded. And I'm also picking up that they're secretive because if they were to reveal how they truly feel, it's like things would just erupt. Something would happen. Ace of Cups reverse. This is someone that's very, it's heart, they're heartbroken. They're disappointed and heartbroken. And I feel like they're hiding it or suppressing it. So let's jump back into this reading and look at where is all of this headed? Spirits, angels, guides. Where is all of this headed for Scorpio, please? Where is all of this headed? What's next? What's next in the near future for Scorpio for this connection here? Tell me more. Where is all of this headed? The full reverse. Four of Wands reverse. Where is all of this headed? The Empress reverse. There's somebody else. Money is a possibly a situation here. This could even be a legal battle for some of you. We have Justice with the Ten of Pentacles. But I'm also getting, um, no, I'm sorry. This is an, this is a classic case of someone that needs to listen to what their heart is truly telling them. This is someone who needs to take a reckless risk. They're going to need to piss somebody off with that. This Emperor's Reverse. Um, this is also telling you the Empress Reverse that there is no growth here. Seven of Pentacles Reverse, the Empress Reverse. Where this person is at right now, there is no growth. There's no manifestation. There's no abundance. And they're feeling that very strongly. They know it. You know, there's an instability. They want their Four of Wands. That's not happening. I mean, I feel this is the near future. So it's not even happening in the near future. Because they need to get over this feeling of being stuck. You know, this Knight of Wands, this Knight of Swords, this burning desire that this person has, they need to actually do it, you know? We have the uh, Nine of Cups reversed again at the bottom as well. Did we have the Nine of Cups here? Did it just come out? Well, I wish, no, it is. The Knight of Cups reverses there. Yeah, and look what's behind that, the Eight of Swords. Someone's not getting their wish granted, that wish that they had with the star, this desire for a, a union, and I feel it's with you. But I'm also picking up Scorpio, like this is, this is happening outside of you. I don't even know if you know this is happening. Let's clarify. Let's clarify before I run with this. I'm like, let's clarify. I'm going to use the vice versa tarot. This might be a long reading. Spirit, help me clarify for Scorpio, please. I'm obsessed with this deck. The Vice Versa Tarot. It has photos in the front, in the back, and uh, since I love shuffling my decks all over the place, it's been just awesome. I love the messages that I get. I love switching around the deck in my hand and getting different messages. So let's see. Spirit, give me some clarity on this outcome for the near future. Tell me about this full reverse, please. Ooh, we have here the King of Swords. Yes, remember what I said? This is somebody that knows. They have clarity. Tell me more about the full reverse. The King of Swords also does not let emotions get in the way, similar to the Queen of Swords. Yep, not, we got the Knight of Swords again. This person knows what they want to do. They want to rush in. Um, this could also be like a truth that's hitting them with a, like, like a ton of bricks, you know? Like a truth that is just kind of like, it can't be ignored. It's, it's, it's um, regarding this choice. The two different paths this person can take. I have the two of wands here. And then I have the Nine of Pentacles reversed. So it's almost like they know that they cannot be attached to something any longer. Tell me more about the full reverse, please. 
Oh my gosh. We have the Knight of Wands again. Two of, oh my God. And there you are, Scorpio, at the bottom of the deck. We have Death. Another card for change, transition, falling leaves. I just love that we're getting the repeated messages. In this deck, we have the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, one more time. So I feel with these cards, this is about someone having to take a reckless risk here to make a complete change in their life. What's behind that? The Five of Pentacles. And once again, I picture this person being worried about finances for a lot of you. But with the Six of Cups reversed right behind that, they, they're stuck in the past in some way. The past won't let them rest. Yeah, we have this a uh, full reversed again with the seven of cups reverse. This is about making a choice, having clarity on a choice. This person's worried about making a mistake. Tell me about the four of wands reverse. Tell me about the four of wands reverse, please. Okay, we got the four of pentacles. Yes, this is about, I feel this is someone that's holding back because of finances or they're holding on to something specifically oh we got the knight of cups tell me more and the three of wands reverse so this is someone that's no longer waiting ah oh, and there's the queen of wands reverse so there's impatience frustration and it's due to this third person i don't know who this queen of swords reversed is but they're not happy that this person they're, they're not making this situation happen for this person. Again, with the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, it's like someone's holding back their emotions. Why the Knight of Cups? Why the Knight of Cups? Yes, this is someone that, ha that has had a change of heart. Four of Cups reverse. They could even be apologizing to you we have the Emperor reverse Aries energy and the Six of Wands again. So I feel like this person, they're thinking of success in expressing themselves. Like if they just express themselves, if they communicate what they're feeling, they're picturing success. Um, but with this Three of Wands reverse, the Three of Wands could be that uh, it's, someone has waited too long or is so impatient and frustrated they might jump into a mistake. Oh, we got the world reverse. Yes, this is somebody that hasn't been able to close the cycle out. And then I have the five of wands, possibly due to uh, conflict, drama. Again, with the drama, I'm picturing a lot of fights. Like, I am getting that message. I don't know if this is you with this person or if this is just this person and what they're going through right now in their life. Tell me about the empress reverse. Why is the adverse reverse? Three of cups. Yes, this is a third person. I'm also getting like someone wanting to manifest a reunion. Yeah, nine of pentacles. Oh, I love this card. This is like what this person wants. They just want to be free. I'm also picturing like them. This card has kind of similar tones here. Like reuniting. Like if I'm free, I can reunite. I can come together with Scorpio, you know? Tell me about the Empress Reverse. But I'm also picturing like a third person, like a third person's kind of in the way of this. We have the Queen of Wands and then we have the Two of Pentacles Reverse. So yes, there needs to be an exchange. Eight of Cups, the top, Temperance at the bottom. Yes, this is someone that all they're thinking about is leaving. Leaving making this choice being free going after what they truly want and look what's before actually let me show you what's at the bottom after temperance the six of swords so yes tell me more about the empress card reverse please one more spirit then we'll wrap this up ah that's way too many oh the moon the moon, I feel, yes, I do feel like there's something hidden here. I don't know if you are maybe not talking to this person, not aware at what's happening, what situation they find themselves in. I don't know who this Queen of Swords reverse is. Could be a partner, a family member, a co-worker, eight of wands. So 
this person wants to make a move here with the eight of wands wants to communicate um this is i have the um the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck so i feel like this is someone that wants to move forward here wants to have a change an opportunity a 360 in their life ace of pentacles reverse i feel like there's going to be a big loss for them i don't know what it could be financial it'll be different for all of you this person could reach out to communicate because i do have the knight of swords the knight of wands so it's almost like taking action to communicate some sort of truth and then have the eight of wands very very big possibility here but for a lot of you i'm picking up that this is happening outside of you scorpio like this is someone that this is something that someone needs to do before they can come to you is what i'm picking up tell me if that's resonating down in the comments uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated for you. Hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings and want to see more. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.